Good evening, everybody. How are we all doing? Uh, happy Friday, and welcome to the fall of 2020 Dig Jazz live stream concert series. We're really happy to be bringing you um, live music, and uh, and not only live music, but live music that is original music by from our local jazz musician community. Um, sit back and relax. This is going to be some great music. We're going to do two sets. Um, and so we will we have a, at least a couple couple hours worth of material for you. Before we get started, I want to make a couple announcements uh, just to um, get get the series started, and then we'll we'll roll on with the music. But there's a lot of people who make this this possible. This series is presented by the Madison Music Collective, the Arts and Liter Literature Laboratory, and our wonderful host here at the Wisconsin Union Theater. We are coming to you live from Shannon Hall. Um, this is a three-part series, so. This is our, our first concert of the series, and in two weeks, we will have, uh, on October 9th, we will have Megan Moran and Passare, um, a great vocalist and composer. Uh, after that, on s October 23rd, we will have Johannes Wallman and his new quintet featuring Sherelle Cassidy. So you don't want to miss those shows. Make sure you mark your calendars uh, and tune back in with us on these following Fridays. I'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsors, the people who help us make these possible and make these fair paying uh, gigs for our musician community. So please help me in thanking um, the Madison Music Collective, the Arts and Literature Laboratory, Wisconsin Union Theater, the John and Carolyn Peterson Charitable Foundation, Dane Arts, the Wisconsin Arts Board, Madison Arts Commission, Janice Galleries, our wonderful community radio station, WORTFM, and our wonderful sound and visual techs, uh, Andrew LaValle from Bear Sound and Greg White from Madison Pro Audio, bringing you this really crispy stream here. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, there's going to be two sets. Um, there will be an intermission, about a 15-minute intermission, uh, give our musicians time to rest and recuperate to bring the, bring the force for the second set. Um, but... These live streams, even though we're not in person, and we really want to be, <laughs> um, and we will be back that way, but these live streams are also very interactive. So you can view us not only here on Facebook, but also on YouTube at the Arts and Literature Laboratories pages. You can, on those pages, you can comment, you can like, you can sh give us heart emojis and um, sad emojis if you want to, but uh, whatever emojis you got, we'll take. Um, that lets us interact with you in some form. Um, but also, in the top of our second set, um, if you submit your questions via the comments, uh, I will pick some and we will ask these artists about their creative process. And so you can learn a little bit more about these artists and what they do. All right, well, that's enough talk for now. Oh, by the way, I'm Nick Moran. I'm producing this series. Um, but it's, it is my pleasure um, to bring a, a very good friend and his new project. Um, you might have heard Tony Barba with the Youngblood Brass Band, uh, groups like Golpe Tierra and Barbacoa. Um, but this new project is really exciting, uh, and you're going to dig how it sounds. I didn't mean to make that pun. Um, so please welcome Tony Barba and Blood Moon. Thank you. 
Well, hello, everyone out there. <laughs> Nothing can really prepare you for the awkwardness of playing for a, a concert where apparently there's people listening, but we're in a big concert hall with uh, just a couple of people in front of us that are helping record the show. So, <laughs> um, but it's really, it still feels really awesome to play for all of you out there. So uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, and uh, we're playing music right now pretty much entire in, uh, from our last, well, from our first album that we put out earlier this spring called Blood Moon. And we're, tonight we're going to play all the songs off of that and then a couple other songs, one that's new and then another song that's quite old. But um, basically the story behind the album was um, I wrote kind of all this music. There's about 10 tunes in the album. There's 10 tunes. And uh, I wrote them all in the span of like two months, uh, right around the time where we had our last full lunar eclipse uh, in 2000, was that 19? Yeah, 2019, January. So it was a blood moon, if you remember that. And um, kind of all this music was sort of inspired by the mood of that time period. And we recorded it just a few months after that, um, in June of, of last year. And put out the album and came out in late March on Shifting Paradigm Records. Hi, Zach. <laughs> and uh, we were going to do a, a big album release tour. I mean, not big, but it was a few cities in the Midwest. And it all got canceled for obvious reasons. And uh, it was a real drag because we hadn't played together since last November, uh, I think. Um, so this, this time we kind of came together and uh, we're really happy that um, we got to be part of the Dig Jazz series to kind of do this music for everyone out there. So we're kind of catching everybody in the big net. Um, and it's just so awesome to get together and play music with these guys and, and just to hang, <laughs> see each other again and, um, you know, talk about music and life. And it's been a great a couple, a couple of days. So um, anyways, we're going to continue on. The first tune we played was called Blood Moon, uh, the title track from the album. The second one was entitled Hide Alerts, kind of about technology. <laughs> uh, next one is called Monster.
So awkward. Just getting ready to play the wrong song. <laughs> I, I was talking to John before we were trying to make the set list, and I realized, you know, because we both switch between different instruments for different songs, and I could have been, you know, conscious of that with the songs I picked or when I picked them, but I wasn't. <laughs> we, uh, we, we've been talking uh, yesterday about, might as well tell a little story, why not? We talked about just the fact that um, every gig or live stream that I've done since the pandemic started, I, I've forgotten either to bring a certain thing or I've left something behind after the game has been over. And this is something I never ever did when I was gigging like all the time regularly before the pandemic started. But you know, if I've lost multiple items now or forgot to bring them to the gig, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's just not, things are not clicking. So sorry if we uh, mess up the order of the songs or I do. <laughs> Anyways, this is called The Hypnotist.
All right, the moment you've been waiting for, bass clarinet comes out. <laughs> so that, I'm just gonna quickly introduce the songs because I'm Maybe there's somebody wondering. <laughs> uh, that last one was called The Hypnotist, and this is uh, another one entitled Wishlist. Uh, probably entitled for, I don't know, when I was doing a lot of online gear buying, I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and after this, of course, we're gonna have another instrument switch too, so um, I'll, I will talk a little bit more and introduce these guys properly after that. So this is Wishlist.
So I promised you I'd introduce everybody now. <laughs> um, super happy to have Matt Gold on guitar with us. And uh, it's been great that he has been willing to come up to Madison so frequently and play. He was here last week with his trio. Uh, this is John Christensen on the electric bass and uh, upright bass. And then behind me is Devin Dropka on drums and the Roland SPD. <laughs> <laughs> always have to introduce it like that. Um, so uh, we're going to play two more quick songs in this set, and then there's going to be like a little set break, as Nick had described earlier. Um, and once again, we're just super thankful that we got asked to do this uh, by the Dig Jazz series, and uh, it's been great to play. This uh, next song, it, it, we're going to play two kind of just in a row. Uh, kind of quick songs. Uh, this is this next one is called Washed Up. And then uh, after that, we've got Cut and Dry. So kind of the polar opposites. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks. Uh, Nick is going to come out and make an announcement or two. <laughs> we will, yes, we will be back in a few minutes with the second set. Thank you. Uh, internet.
Please put your hands together for Tony Barba and Blood Moon. All of the internet, please. Uh, that was amazing. Uh, I hope it sounds great out there for you. It sounds amazing in here. A um, couple things. So at the, we're going to take a very short intermission, a 15-minute intermission. That will allow you to take a break as well and come back, and we're going to hear another set of music. At the top of that set, um, we were going to ask uh, the musicians some questions. If you have them out there, and I hope you do, I haven't seen any questions yet. So please, in the comments, uh, either on Facebook or YouTube, just let us let us know what you think, and, uh, and we'll we'll ask these artists at the top. Also, if you want to help us uh, continue this series in the future, because again, this series is a forum for our local jazz community to debut new original music, and it's really important that we we support that um, because we want to hear new stuff. That's the that's the beauty of this art form of jazz; is it reflects what's going on right now. Um, so. If you want, you can see these donation links at the bottom, and, uh, and that'll uh, help us um, continue to fund our series going into 2021. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will be back in 15 minutes with the second set of Tony Barba Blood Moon here at the Dig Jazz series. And again, we're coming live from Shannon Hall here in the beautiful Wisconsin Union Theater. Thank you. Stick around. He's performed at Jazz at Five a number of times before throughout its 24-year history. So we're really glad to have him back again. And uh, wow, what you're going to hear. Let's give a big welcome for Chochito Valdez and his trio.
Thank you. Phil and the drums. Freddy and the bass. Ah, a comer.
All right, we are back with the second set here of our first concert of our 2020 Fall Dig Jazz uh, Concert Series. And again, the series is, um, is created um, actually by musician input. They, uh, we did a series of town hall meetings, and musicians, the musician community here told us that they, we would like a forum for debuting original music. And so here it is, um, and we're really happy to be back in our sixth season here. Um, so this is, uh, we're going to bring back the music. We have Tony Barba and Blood Moon. Um, but before we do that, a couple things. Again, um, thank you for those who have donated to our, uh, um, this series that helps us fund this series in the future, um, which creates fair paying um, opportunities for our jazz musicians. Um, we're also going to ask a couple questions. And I, it was really nice to see uh, some questions from our audience uh, on here. So uh, I guess we're just going to ask Tony, because he's the only one with the microphone. Uh, so. <laughs> Tony, I don't know if you know this musician, Richard Hildner. Um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he's asking if, if you could do a quick uh, rig rundown, because we see all these electronics and stuff. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hi, Richie. Um, okay. So, <laughs> uh, it wasn't what I was expecting to talk about. But, uh, so, well, my rig, I have... Um, I go for, through a clip, clip on microphone uh, into, I'm not going to hold it up. I, it's, well, I guess I could, but that would be weird. Uh, it's a clip on microphone that goes to a small preamp, which goes into, I have a harmonizer pedal, which kind of functions, it gives uh, the last song we played, kind of gave me um, an interval above the note I was playing and the one below for anybody who knows <laughs> some musical speak. Uh, and then I go to, I have the chorus pedal which gives a little wavery sound and then a delay or echo pedal. And that's, and then I send the signal out to Andy <laughs> and to Greg. So there you go, Richie. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, not everyone sees, you I know, know. Uh, saxophone. But yeah, and, it's and, no, I mean, it's, it's actually, yeah, there's, I know there's a fair m amount of saxophone players that are, are definitely using electronics. So it is something that took me a long time to figure out how to do and not just sound, totally awful <laughs> it's a process they're different instruments to use effects pedals like rather than just put them in and hope that it sounds great so you got to blend it in so yeah so another musician has a question thank you musicians out there for for starting the conversation mike weiser is asking uh would you consider sharing the charts of these original uh, original tunes on your site or online marketplace it's a good idea yeah um Actually, my web designer is over there. <laughs> John Christensen is, he is an amazing uh, web Wait, designer. he's and my web designer too. Yeah. He, <laughs> <laughs> I think he's maybe, does he done your websites yet? Well, they're, they're coming. So he's, I mean, he's, he's, he's the guy in town and just, you know, not only for musicians, I, I, you know, trying to plug, plug his business. He's really great. I, I, I love the work he's done on, on my website. So anyways, um, yeah, that is a good, I have considered doing that and I, I should get on it Yeah, <laughs> because that's, it's a very easy thing to put them up on the website and no offer. No time like the present. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. One more question and then we're going to get into the music. And in, uh, this is from, uh, Josh Paturik. I know, I think you, cool. yeah. mm -hmm. and, um, Hi guys. Hey. Thanks for the hey. questions. Yeah. Um, and you know, unfortunately, we can't ask all the musicians because they don't have microphones here. But uh, for Tony, uh, how did you fall into playing jazz? And uh, what, what are some early inspirations that came to you as a youngster? Uh, well, I, I think it's just you know, the first was because I I was sort of interested in. I think it was when I was in middle school, all the, the kids that were the cool kids in, in band were, you know, playing in the jazz band. So it was just natural that you wanted, if you played something like saxophone, uh, or actually I played clarinet, and I, I just wanted to be in the jazz band because it seemed like that was the cool thing to do. So I started playing tenor sax, and I got lessons, and the guy I took lessons with was, you know, a jazz musician. So he kind of turned me on to the, going down the dark path of jazz. And, uh, <laughs> um, and, it just you know, kind of swallowed me in from there, and and uh, after that, you know, I got inspired by a lot of it. Really, was just listening to other kids that were really into it and that were super, super good, and that inspired me to start really listening to a lot of stuff in high school and then college, and you know, know. So I, I have to say, I mean, you know, you could stand up here and list influences or something, but it was is honestly just being around other awesome musicians that were young and, and had that experience and influence. So I don't know, just kind of fell into it that way, I guess. So. Yeah. 
Awesome. Well, thank you out there for all the great questions. Um, we're going to continue with the music. But before we do, uh, a reminder that we this series is a three-part series here in the uh, beautiful Wisconsin Union Theater in Shannon Hall. And we'll be back on October 9th with Megan Moran and Pesare. Um, that's a vocal-led jazz uh, quintet. And then we'll have... Um, on Friday, October 23rd, and these again start at all at 7 o'clock, um, Johannes Wallman and his new quintet that's featuring the great alto saxophonist Sherelle Cassidy. So don't miss those shows. Mark them in your calendar, and we'll be back with more music. And so without further ado, please help me welcome Matt Gold, John Christensen, Devin Drabka, Tony Barba, Blood Moon.
Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> this is never not going to be awkward. Um, <laughs> uh, we were just discussing during the set break, you know, how just, it's amazing just you know, playing with this energy and with this group again and, and getting to do what we love to do and, <clears throat> you know, feeling it all coming together and then, you know, kind of just things stop and it's like the, you know, the void. <laughs> but we know that you're out there hanging out with us, so we appreciate it. Um, these, that first song we played on the, was actually a, a sort of a brand new thing. I have been working on the melody for, for quite a few months now, so this is the first opportunity that I got to bring it to these guys. So we played it for the first time last night, and it's called 2020, <laughs> uh, fitting, and sort of just, you know, I kind of named it that because it's just, it was just a kind of a process to get <laughs> get it played and get it put together for for everybody for these guys. So um, the next song was back to the the Blood Moon album. It was uh, that was called Rounding Up, and it was sort of it, it's <laughs> we call it Reggae Boy actually. So <laughs> that's that's our nickname for the song. But it's definitely a uh, kind of coming. Uh, you know, this album was definitely a, a lot of different influences of mine coming together into one quartet, you know, this very strong vibe that we have playing together, but a lot of different kinds of songs on this record. So that was uh, completely different than the next one we're going to play called The Long Haul. Um, so here we go. Thank you. 
All right, we've come to just about the end of our program. We have one more song, um, and happy we were able to get through all this material tonight. So um, that uh, last song was entitled Drifters. I wrote that for my wife, Jen. Hi, Jen. <laughs> um, also dedicated to our son, Reese. I don't, he's probably in bed now, but. <laughs> um, so uh, we, it's really just been a, a real pleasure to play. And, um, you know, it's, it's crazy. I, I was talking to Nick before we started that, you know, Nick and I actually have a gig, uh, like a live stream gig next month. And after that, it's just like great wide open for performances, uh, for me at least, for quite a while. So, um, you know, it's, I think a lot of musicians right now are really kind of looking at the winter and it's, it's things are, I don't know, it's <laughs> a little apprehensive about what's going to happen. So, you know, I, I guess uh, the more of these things that happen, I know that live streaming, we all want to be back in the same room and the same, you know, enjoying the same space while we listen to music, but, uh, you know, keep supporting these, these kind of things that are happening online and, <clears throat> You know, if there's any safe performances you can attend, and do so and, and just support the music that's going on because uh, I don't think I need to tell anybody that musicians are having a rough time right now. So um, it's, it's uh, really nice to be able to do this once again. So thank you to Arts and Lit Lab, Madison Music Collective, Madison Jazz Consortium. It's been, it's been a real pleasure. Um, and once again, uh, just quickly introduce these guys. It's Matt Gold on guitar. John Christensen on, on uh, basses, and Devin Dropka on drums, electronics. My name is Tony Barba. Um, we, <clears throat> we do have our album, Blood Moon, for sale digitally. Uh, it's the, f the format for us, if you want to purchase it, is to go to bandcamp.com. Um, and then it's, uh, you can definitely Google my name, but it's, it's, on, I, it's on, our sh on the Shifting Paradigm record label. Uh, so it's technically on their Bandcamp uh, listing, but you can look for Blood Moon. Just Google Tony Barba Blood Moon. It's probably the first thing that comes up. So uh, we'd appreciate it if you like the music. We played all of it tonight. So um, you can get yourself your own copy of it uh, that directly supports, uh, you know, us <laughs> doing more of that in the future, hopefully. So um, without further ado, uh, we are going to play a, an old song of mine since we ran out of the newer ones. Um, this is a 10 year old song called Shake. And thanks again for listening, everybody.
Thanks, Al. <laughs> and now Nick Moran. Yeah. <laughs> we can't hear you, but we can feel you. So please, internet folks out there, put your hands together for Tony Barba and Blood Moon. That was amazing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that show as much as uh, we did here in this room. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and keep in mind, this is a three-part series this fall, uh, and then we'll actually be back um, later on in the winter for our reschedule. We unfortunately had to cancel our spring series for obvious reasons, um, but we'll be back and, uh, in the, in for this winter series, and we're going to reschedule those artists for then, so keep that in mind. But for this fall series, our next one will be in two weeks on Friday, October 9th, uh, featuring Megan Moran and Passare. Uh, and then on Friday, October 23rd, we will hear Johannes Wallman's new quintet, featuring Sherelle Cassidy. So thank you so much. Uh, you ha can see the donation links. Um, please consider a donation to keep this uh, series going. And, uh, and I do want to thank uh, our wonderful audio engineer, um, Andrew Lavalley from Bear Sound. And I want to thank Greg White, who's been doing our streaming, uh, our live streaming here for Madison Pro Audio. On behalf of the Madison Music Collective, uh, the Arts and Literature Laboratory, and this beautiful space here in Wisconsin Union Theater, I want to thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Buenas noches. <laughs>